Good morning. It is a pleasant morning. Hope everyone is doing all right. I am doing well. What's up, Ignacio? What is going on? What's up, Johnny? All right, we're going to crank this baby up. Look at that. Probably going to have to adjust the camera here in a second. Look at all of our silver packs. There are our silver packs. Ignacio, are you in this break or are you in the later one? You're in the, looks like you're in the other break, huh? You're in the jumbo. So do we take, the question becomes, do we take our 12 packs from the front or the back? The front or the back? I think we're taking them from the back. We're taking them from the back. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have twelve packs. We're going to start this morning with Hobby. Then we're going to go straight into Jumbo. There's our twelve silver. Let's crack our Hobby case. We will run down who has what, and then we will get started. Since nobody bought the Braves last night in this one, the Braves are mine. And I am happy about that. And I am happy about that. All right. So the way we're going to do this, just for the fun of doing it this way, is we are going to open a box and open a pack of silver. Open a box, open a pack of silver. So we're just going to put the silver up on top. All right. 2019 Top Series 2 Hobby Web Break. Chris Santa has the Rockies, Bob S. the Phillies, Robbie J. the Mets and the Angels, Taylor P. the Red Sox, Derek U. the Twins. Marie has the Rays and Dodgers. Curtis has the Blue Jays and Padres. David B, the A's, the Pirates, the Royals, the Bluers. Frank H, the Orioles. Adam K has the Cubbies. John G, the Indians. Ryan A, the White Sox. Ed has the Astros. Adam has the Yankees. Jim has the Nationals. Tim, who also won the free spot that we did for the Facebook group. Um, d backs Tigers, Marlins, Rangers, Cardinals. So Tim, who bought a total of 11 spots, will be able to pick... Um, the team he wants in a full case break of either Stadium Club or Allen and Ginter. Ian has the Reds, Stephen K, the Mariners, and I have the Giants and the Braves. Because no one bought the Braves, the last team. And so I told everyone last night, we don't sell the Braves. I keep them for myself. And I don't feel bad for whatever hits come out of them. Because the Braves have a fantastic lineup. I, I, that, I, I just don't understand the, uh, but these things happen from time to time. I mean, every other every other team gets sold except for the mighty Atlanta Braves. Let 
Let me just make sure I am all prepped and ready to go. Grab a drink, and then we're going to start banging away at it. Johnny, pick a box to start us out there, Johnny. Let's see if we get a little Johnny magic in the first box. So for this, each box has one autograph or relic. And look, Hank Aaron. Atlanta Braves right in the front with Mike Trout. Johnny, you here? And because we have no time constraints this morning, since we're going to be doing this the first time, we're just going to, uh, I'm not going to bum rush it. I don't feel a need to bum rush it. I'm going to enjoy these first few boxes. And we have our eBay break tonight. Our first eBay break tonight at 11 p.m. It is uh, live now, churning. We'll go through these and we'll get into hobby. Third row from the right. Okay, so you want this row. Okay, which box? Third row from the right, middle. So you want this row? Third row from right. One, two, three. Oh, the middle box. So this box. Third row from the right, middle box. Do I have the right box, Johnny? Well, we're into it now, boys and girls. I see there's several people watching. Feel free, come chat with us. Hang out. We are digging in. I've kind of familiarized myself last night with the um, with all of the different various uh, parallels and uh, SPs and things like that. So um, I'm hoping that I will actually recognize them. But if I need help um, seeing them, I will use Krabby. Krabby is here to help me see. So all of this that we break today, uh, just for anyone who's who's uh, bought into this one, Nelson Cruz 150. Anyone who's uh, bought into this, we will um, everything that sh we break today will ship uh, tomorrow. So that's going to be the goal. So 962 is base. What's up, Garrett? Uh, yes, it's going to be a, a long weekend, but it's going to be a fun weekend. So we will wrap up everything that we do today, both cases and eBay. This will ship tomorrow, and then for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, of course, we offer the rollover shipping. You know, you get five ship, five teams. You hit the uh, you hit the uh, cap, and then it's all priority mail. One fifty again. Jalen Beats. So that's going to be the uh, what we're going to do with that. Look, Eloy. Johnny Field. Windy City Warriors. Cubs, huh? Oh, look at that. It's a giant. Steven Duggar, 150. Thank you very much. One for me. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. The, uh, the number was uh, the base number. 
I would assume that if there was anything that was different, it would not have the um, it would not have the base number on it. That is my guess. We'll keep an eye out. I'm going to set him aside just because I'll see if the next one that pops up if it's the same. We've got another half a dozen or so cases. What do I have coming in the mail? Six cases? Another giant. Or hay. I guess some of these. I guess you're not going to get it. Yeah, it, it does seem weird with the old time jersey. Well, so we'll keep an eye on it. None of these look like any of the SPs or the variations that I saw. He probably get six hours in the chair this morning, and then we'll come back tonight at 11. Mark McGuire, All-Star. That's cool. Then we'll come back tonight at 11 p.m. for a break. And then we've got to start working on the, the PYT. We have the PYT break. I mean the uh, random team break. So anyone who's watching, any of you guys, um, let me give you a link. I'm going to give you a straight link to the, uh, the random break, which is banging away right now. So anyone who wants to get into our random team break, um there's a link that will get you straight to it. $29.95 a spot. Shipping is free. We still guarantee the two-day shipping. As always. Oh, there's something interesting in there. Um, so um, you know, with the free shipping and everything else. Ooh, nice for the Cubs. Out of 150. 12 out of 150. Anthony Rizzo. Game used memorabilia. So the Cubs hit right away. It's a nice little piece. Indigard. Um, I was not prepared properly with these sleeves. I have. don't know why. Cubbies, Rizzo out of 150. Who the heck has the Cubs in this one? Cubs in this one belong to Adam K. Adam K. One for me. Oh, nice, Andy Koufax. Mikey Matuk. Matu That's a base. One for me. Sweet victory. So, like I said, for the website, we have Hobby now, and then right after Hobby will be Jumbo, Manny Machado. Hard hits, 95 plus miles an hour. Ranmer. Looks like we have some color coming up. We do. Out of 2019, Roselle Herrera. Roselle Herrera. Gold. I guess it's gold, huh? Willie Shohei. 
David Peralta, and McAdoo. So once we get the uh, once we get the random break sold out, um, we will definitely be um, looking at that. Uh, I'm going to push that pretty hard today, and so my goal will be nice San Francisco. My goal would be to break that one tomorrow morning. Brandon Drury. It's all quiet this morning. I'm not used to all this quiet. 144 out of 2019. It's not very much fun when it's all quiet. Do I have my do I have my range good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Nelson Cruz, Carlos Santana. See, this to me looks like it would be a, it's not because of the placement in the pack. But this looks like a uh, prime candidate for uh, an SB. What's up, Curtis? That's right, man. Go Giants. That's what I say, homie. Justice Sheffield for the Mariners. Go Giants. I mean, after all, that's why I do this. I do this for... Uh, to build my San Francisco Giants collection. And since we're going to be cracking upwards of 20 cases of this product, I suspect that when we're done, I will have a nice stack of Giants. Jake K. 150. And this one is actually numbered 93 out of 150. Um, eight teams, uh, spots left in the random break, but I haven't really started pushing in that at all. Um, just because it was, uh, we were making sure we got the, uh, the PYT breaks like McCutcheon in a Phillies uniform done. So we'll start banging on that one now. Ignacio, so it won't be long. I'll get it sold out quick. Lugo. Oh, uh, no, that one's cool. That is cool. That is the Angels checklist card, but that is a cool card. I dig it. Santana, 150. Jason Hayward. So, uh, so uh, everyone, familiarize yourself. If you go on to Beckett, Beckett has a, do a 2019 Top Series 2 variations. There's a photo list that has all the variations. And so if you guys go on there and familiarize yourself with that, you can help me not to miss anything good. Ignacio, you're at home, right? So that's your job. Dominic Leon is he numbered? He is not numbered, but he is a. They put him in a sleeve. We call that foil. Cuevas Noel. I'm just kidding. I know it's foil. It's shiny. We have eBay breaks Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we will get everything shipped on sunday all card ship with our breaks um and i've got uh behind me four different uh um, stations set up powerful pair Ooh, look at that one that's cool turn that over it'd be nice if that was real johnny oh you're at home good you look it up then both of you guys look it up familiarize yourself with those sps and that way if you see one DFA, then uh, then we won't miss out because I don't want to miss out. I know you have good eyes, John. Dexter Fowler, great moments. Edinson Volquez. Ooh, look at this! Our first blue. This one's out of fifty-eight out of fifty. Lance Lynn. Texas. Texas is Tim. That's a nice little start. 
or Tejas. I need to get. Chad Pinder. <laughs> On its surface, you would think um, everyone would like Jumbo better because it's guaranteed autograph, guaranteed autograph. I'm kind of a fan of hobby. I just like uh, if it's anything like Series 1 with the SPs, it's going to be a lot more fun. The Lino de Shields, Texas. And we have one. We have our first SP on the next card. And it is Carlton Fisk. I think Fisk is just an SP and not a super short print. Let's see about number. This is, yeah, 31. So this is an SP, and I think 32 is the SSP. Carlton Fisk for the Red Sox. Nice hit for Taylor. Bryce Harper. Appa. If anyone's on, you guys have any questions, you want to ask anything, you want to talk about anything, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to chat about it. Tatis. More than happy to answer questions, talk about things. Give my opinion on something. Well, if I can, I'm not going to be mean, but because that's what this is all about, right? Talking, asking questions about it. Maybe you're curious about a team, Nick Martini. All right, Krabby, I need you. Nope. SPs are 31, SSP, thank you, Ignacio. That is very helpful. All right, what I'm looking forward to are the silver packs because I want to get, I'm hoping we get some good autographs. Should we do a, a silver packs at the end? Kikuchi. Munio. Gold. Out of 2019. I don't think anyone who's in this break is on yet. Somebody will show up. And then Ignacio start. Oh, look, Pete Alonso. Robbie J. Pete Alonzo. Ignacio, start thinking about the uh, the jumbo break, whether or not we should uh, open the uh, silver packs at the beginning, at the end, one after every box, or two after every box, or what? That's your job. Detroit. It'd be nice to pull one of these real ones, huh? Lou. I just look at the pictures. It's too much work for me to. Garcia. See, see that to me looks like it should be it, but it's not. So there's an Evan Longoria uh, short print that I want. That to me looks like it could be a short print, but it's not. Because a short print will be in the middle. Francisco Lindor would be somewhere right around this card. What was it last time? It was like five up. <coughs> it's a negative. For sure. Okay. It does make it more exciting at the end. That is true.
I kind of get this is my chance to get my looky loo out, you know, to get my to get my uh, checking out all the cards. So when we get into the eBay breaks, we're not uh, picking 14 hours for an eBay break because I don't want to do that. I don't mind in the morning with the uh, with the web breaks because we're under there's no real time constraint. Springer home run challenge. That's true. Luke. Steel City Slimers. Huh? Mariano. So ideally, if this it was going to be, it would be somewhere around here that the SP would be, but no SP. That to me looks like it's another one that would be a candidate for an SP, but it's not. So our first box produces a blue, an SP, and our hit was uh, one twelve or twelve out of one fifty Rizzo game use memorabilia card we're just going to stick with a Johnny row I'm up to four o'clock in this morning working on stuff and then I want to make sure that I hit my distributor first thing in the morning so up early and at the distributor and it's going to be a long day a long but fun day. But fun will always be a part of my, what I say. It was Johnny, I'm sorry, that's too bad. I hate when that happens. Sam Dyson. Oh, that was cool. Where do you go, 150? I think I'm going to move these things as I'm going. Keep my workspace clear. What's up, Bob? Tyler O'Neill. Good to see you, Bob. Jeff Bankwell. Now this is the Vlad Jr. This is the unnumbered, right? So this is considered, I believe, a short print. So we're gonna put him in there. So this one is, um, oh yeah, of course, sorry about, there we go. This is, we're going to do this over at the end. So this one is not numbered. So there's the black, okay, so there's the NCRT again, so the, that other one is just the base. Of course there's silver, Bob, come on. What world are we living in, Bob, where we don't have silver packs? This in the early going. You know, if I get a good deal on something later on, I don't care about the silver that much. That's pretty cool, too. This one's turned backwards. Is it an autograph? It is not. Why is it backwards then? We don't know, but it's Victor Reyes. And they turn it backwards to tease us. Way to go, Tops. Good, that was a good tease, Tops. It worked. You got me. Somewhere right now, somebody at Tops just laughed. There are several fantastic Giants SPs and SSPs in here. There's two SPs, but the SSPs are the ones that I want. Oh, look at that. Cards of our youth. Willie McCovey rookie. There is an SSP of uh, Melot. 
Um, there's an SSP of uh, Chrissy Mathewson. And then there's one more giant SSP. I can't think of who it is. I am going to have a giant stack of recyclable material sitting next to me when we get done with it. Windy City Warrior. So far, no. Um, this was just a dud pack or what? No. Uh, cards that we have to worry about randoming off, which I, I like. Robert Stock, Chris Davis. Oh, look at that. That one's cool. Altuve, Ryan, and Bagwell. I like that. We're going to put that aside. Tommy Hunter. And what is this one? Gar Gary V's Top Entrepreneurs in Baseball. Oh, that's a cool bag. That was neat. We'll set that aside just for the fun of it. Right? Did you buy it graded or ungraded? What's up, CL? How are we doing this morning? Albies, SP, Atlanta Braves. Who owns the Atlanta Braves? Well, I do. Ungraded, nice. Who owns that card? Why, well, I do. It's one for me. Daryl Strawberry. What's up, Thomas? Sounds good. If we if we hit anything massive, I'll uh I'll holler at you. Colorado, that's cool. Corbin Burns. Sweet victory. Give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. The Mac Crazy. Thank you for subscribing. eBay break start tonight at 11 p.m. Good morning, Betty. Um, eBay break, first eBay break is 11 o'clock tonight. Then we have 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Then we have uh, 10 and 1 on Friday and 10.30 and 1.30 on Saturday. So we have, look at this, we got a double in this one. Johnny Field. So our first uh, eBay break of this will be 11 o'clock tonight. 11 o'clock tonight. And Jeff. Some more Jeff. Some more Jeff. Some more Jeff. All cases. All full cases. Everything this week and next week will all be full cases. John Gant for the Cardinals. 2019 home run challenge Juan Soto. All full cases. Or, you know, if you look on the website, I mean, on eBay, you'll see all that, too. Three jumbo, three hobby. Twelve silver with each. Twelve.
12 silver with each. We're going to break two cases this morning. We'll come back tonight for that one. All Everything that we sell today, nice. Everything that goes off today um, will be shipped out tomorrow so we can clear room for every, all the six cases this weekend. And those six full cases we do um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, will be sh everything will be shipped on Sunday. I don't know who I'm against. Am I against you, Johnny? Melanson. Ichiro. Yeah, we have four uh, sorting stations set up, Betty. So we're we're pretty good. I've got the uh, the gang, but I will certainly let you know. I will certainly let you know. Garcia. Antis Jr. again. What's up, Steve? Yeah, we were talking about you in fantasy baseball. Dexter Fowler. Fantasy baseball. He heard you talking about him, Bob. He's like, wait, I feel something in the force. Carlos Santana. Now this one, I believe, is uh, maybe I'm wrong. No, nope, it's not. This is not an SP. Walker Bueller. I I haven't even been on mine to be honest with you. I got to pay more attention to it. I keep saying I'm going to pay more attention to it, and I don't. Will we get an autograph out of this box or will we get DJ Stewart? Or will we get a uh, relic, another relic? The more important question is, will I, after opening all whatever, what's up, good morning, Mandy, how are you? After opening all these cases, will I have gotten the Giants SSPs? That is what I want. One Buster Posey autograph. And all the Giants SSPs. That's what I want. Outside of that, we do do whatever we want. Johnny Bench. It is good to see you this morning, Mandy. I, I don't even think I've looked at mine in weeks. Gary V's top entrepreneur is Bryce Harper. Jason Castro. It is for me, too. It is for me, too. Um, we were only two boxes in, so our first box produced a blue out of this out of 50 a carlton fisk uh, sp and our hit uh, was a relic hit for this one and it was uh, rizzo uh, 12 out of 150 so for you that would have been a good hit um you know i that no steve i have not i haven't even looked to be honest with you i should i bet you they have one already this is a cool card byron buxton is our next tip game used that for Byron, for the Minnesota Twinks, that is Derek, Derek is on the board, Derek always buys the Twins, I like Derek, you know, because he always buys the Twins. Two, we're still in the second box, means 10 more after this. And we have the 12 silver packs that we're doing at the end. 
12 silver packs will be will be at the end. Oh, look at that. Dennis Eckersley. SP David. For David. Is he a one or a two? He is a one. So this is just the SP and not the SSP. Sandy Koufax. Great card. J Man Choi, huh? Just negative. It's a shame Tops doesn't do uh, uh, hot box like he used to, you know? Yeah, yeah. Verdugo. So. Just so everyone is aware, Tim is the winner of our Buy the Most Teams and get uh, a free full case slot in Allen and Ginter or Stadium Club. There you go, Bryce Harper. So Tim will get to choose between, choose whatever team he wants in Allen and Ginter or Stadium Club. And Allen and Ginter, if he wants the non autograph relic spot, um, I mean, the non-baseball relics and stuff, that's the one he'll get. Victor Robles out of 219. And then a black, our first black. Steel City Slammers. This is 41 out of 67 for the Pirates. I think that's Tim as well. Tim has Pittsburgh in. I'm sorry, it was decided before you got here, CL. If you would have been here, I would have, you would have had a voice in it. I'm sorry. But Ignacio reasoned that it would be more exciting at the end, and I agree with him. Nah, Tim, I think, bought what he bought. Because he sent me a message. Hey, hey, look at that, Will Clark. Woo! And so he watched the uh, Monday video where I was doing the math on how to win Pete Alonso again, how to win the spot for 150 bucks. But then he decided to add the Cardinals in to the question was posed to me about best spot um, without. Uh, and for the oh look at that Pablo that's a cool card Patrick Corbin you to get you get a say everyone gets a say if you're coming in watching the feed you know I'll give you an opinion okay to have an opinion see I like to wait for the end I like the build up I like the drama Rowdy Telez Wilson Ramos is this? Nope. I just want one Will Clark autograph. I mean, one uh, Buster Posey autograph and the giant, the, the SSP. If I get those things, I will be happy. I will be happy. If I don't get those things, I will be sad. And like Vito Corleone, I will blame some of the people in this room. Will Clark's in here too. I mean, I'll take another Will Clark. I'd be happy to have Will Clark. But I really want to pull out Buster. Even though, Brandon, if you guys watched the Monday Funny, Brandon Hippler sent me two. Crazy. One Posey was uh, out of five, and one was a box topper out of 15. Derek Jeter. Nice. 
He sent me two crazy posy autographs. Crazy autographs. Yeah, it's not Monday anymore. Now we're in a brand new product. Now I gotta get my brand new product hit. Tampa Bay Matt Hardy. I gotta get my brand new product to uh, feed. Willie. We got a long way to go. Did it make it? You know what, Mandy, about, seriously, right before you guys showed up, I pulled a, I pulled one that was out of 50, um, out of this product, out of series one, I think, and it was, uh, it was a, uh, I think it was gold, anyway, I mean, had it, had I, had you guys been around, then I would have, it would have gone to you, Good morning, Marie. Nah, we're just really getting going. Alan Hansen. I got uh, Ryan Sandberg's last autographed baseball, Comiskey Park, um, at uh, his last game at uh, Candlestick Park. His last game at Candlestick Park. It was a complete fluke, but I have a hand sign Rhino, which I'm very very happy with. Oh my lord, Bo Jackson, 86 tops. Austin Meadows. Yeah, I sold that one. I mean, had, but had I known you guys were around, I would have, uh, I, I, you know, we'd have worked it out. But we'll get you one, don't worry, Mandy. We will get you one. I'm not putting you down. Get over there, Austin, in your pile. Get over there in your Giants pile. Oh, Christy Matthewson, great seasons. And then, Mark, what a horrible signing for the Giants, Melanson. What a great day. I, I noticed yesterday, <clears throat> I'm just going to say, Ignacio, <clears throat> that my Giants uh, came back and uh, won that game against the Padres. This is my World Series right now, since there won't be one later on, so I have to enjoy the wins when I can. No hope. We'll get you one. You have my word, Mandy. We will get you one. Come hell or high water, we will get you a Ryan Sandberg autograph. Oh, it is my favorite SP of the bunch. It is my favorite one of the bunch. The Frank Robinson. That is my favorite one. This is by far the, my favorite one for picture wise. Uh, they they do, but they also inserted some real cards, Betty. Uh, you have, hold on one sec. Marie has the Rays and the Dodgers in this one. This is Hobby, so you're the Rays and the Dodgers. You know what? It is what it is, Bob. I, you know, now the Giants are saying that unless they get the price they want for Bumgarner, they're going to keep him. And I, I, th I think that's a good idea. Even a rebuilding team still has to have some pitchers that are worth a crap, and Bumgarner is definitely still worth a crap. All these people from the outside looking in there, oh, the criticizing that they did of him when when he, uh, oh, look at that. Now this is a good one. Hey, Crit, uh, hey, CL, look at this. The Tatis, this is Tatis out of 99. This is a good card for the Padres. This will get back uh, the cost of the spot nearly on its own. 93 out of 99, that is a hit right there, boys and girls. That's a hit. Ooh, 
Mm -hmm. Let me see here. That, uh, yes, I think they should too. I mean, come on, if somebody offered him a, a boatload, um, hey, good morning, Bacon. If somebody offered him a boatload, you know, I get it. And it's a business and I, I get it. Um, and truthfully, if I were them, I would think about whether or not I could unload Pablo and I could unload Brandon Belt. I, I would look at, really, this is a very cool car. I know it's just a base car, but that is a cool car. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, I get it. But I, I wish they would keep him. The whole Muncie thing that everyone is making such a big deal out of. Um, does Bumgarner get a little heated about it? Yeah. But did Muncie flip the bat? Yes. But at the end of the day, that game, for all the complaining, the guy pitched seven innings and gave up one run. Now, find me pitchers who consistently um, pitch seven innings and give up one run, and they are considered superstars. And I, I will... Uh, and I'll say it again, um, you can talk all the all you want, but you put Bumgarner in the playoffs, and uh, he's your man. You will win games. He will do for you what he did for the Giants in 14, and he will carry a team all the way because that's the kind of intensity he has, and that's what kind of game makeup he has, which is more than 90% of them. Bacon, what's going on this morning with you? So if I were the Giants, I would hold out because I think I truly believe that Joey Bart will be here next year. And you know what the worst thing of all about Joey Bart is, Betty? He um, Santana Gold. He uh, was in Stockton the other day. He was in Stockton. The ports were playing in Stockton the other day. That's so terrible. I asked uh, David uh, B. if he would uh, if he goes to a ports game, Giants game, try to give me an autograph. He said he would. I think that's very nice of him. No, 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 not at all. But, you know, I mean, I get it. And if somebody flipped my bat, flipped their bat on me like that, I'd be, I'd be ticked off too. Do I think he gets a little carried away? Sure, he gets a little carried away. But it's okay. I'd rather see him get angry about someone hitting a home run off of him than I would him, the, the guy hit the home run and he just shrug it off like, nah, no big deal. Whatever. It's. It, I am having a good time. I am having a good time. This is. I know the SPs. My Frank Robinson SP that I wanted to pull. We already pulled. And this. This is a nice hit, guys. All right, Bob. We'll see you later. This is a nice hit. This is that Tatis with the uh, old school logo. Out of ninety nine. This is a nice hit. Now, if we can do. If we can replicate that with Pete Alonso. Um, that would be fantastic. Look at that. Gil Hodges. Noah's in the guard. I don't know. You know what? I'm fine with them showing up the pitcher like that if they want, but I'm also fine with the pitcher being able to retaliate. I was watching PTI. I watch PTI every day. Um, and they were talking about that the, if, if that happens and the pitcher should go up and start making fun of the batter when they strike him out. And that's exactly what should happen. Johnny Mize for the Cardinals. If the, if the, if the hitters are going to show up the pitchers, the pitchers should, should start showing up the hitters. When they strike you out, they should taunt you. Really? Nah, but then, but then it goes, and then it goes both ways because everyone would be all bent out of shape if the pitchers taunted the hitters, and the pitchers should start taunting the hitters. I would be talking crap on these guys. I would, I would be taunting these guys, especially if they do it, you know, do it to me. Yeah, I'm telling you what, the Giants sure missed out on Pence. Man, he changed his swing, and he is a stud. 36 years old, and he's a stud. I hope he doesn't get busted for PEDs. Pablo. 150. Oh, look at a black all-star. I like that. 
A black all-star card. This is numbered out of 299. Tom Glavin for the Braves. Who owns the Braves in this? Well, I do. I do, so that's mine. What's up, Adam? Hey, man, I would have thrown Muncie. I, I don't care what people, you know, I'm old school on baseball. Show me up, and next time you're going to get hit in the butt with a fastball. Now, you want to do it next? You want to do it? Uh-oh, here comes a, 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 a fat one. If you want to do it, I have no problem with you doing it. But just be ready to be plunked. Whoa, look at that. Mike Trout. Entrepreneur Jose Ramirez. But look at that, pretty trout. That's nice. Congratulations. Silhouette. Oh, this one's 19 out of 50. Holy crap. This is a nice Mike Trout. Robbie J. Robbie J. 19 out of 50. We're gonna put that in a we're gonna put that in something nice for Robbie. Give me one sec. That's a pretty one. That's game used. Mike Trout used that. Hey, good morning. What's happening, Tim? Mike Trout used that in a game. He didn't. But it sounds nice. But it's number 19 out of 50. Robbie just woke up. Wherever he's at, he just woke up. Robbie woke up in a couple of minutes. He'll be here wondering what happened. What 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 happened? Where did I what hit did I get? Uh, that one is not gonna work. Let's try a two sixty. Yep, I think a two sixty will work. Did Liberty beat you up again? Uh, I heard Liberty beating you up. Did she beat you up again? She's naughty, huh? She's naughty. So 260 is not quite. 260 is too. What the hell? All right, hold on. Let me see. Something, something's not right here. Got to get in between. 260 is huge on that card. Say for one thirty will work. Okay, bacon. Will a one thirty work? It might. Got to get a. I need to find some kind of an in between size here. I think. It did. We will put a sleeve on top to protect the front. We will put this in here like that. Close that down. And we'll say, look at my trap. Out of 50. Liberty, our German Shepherd, has taken to wanting to dominate the, the feed, or the, the morning breakfast. And so now she has taken to beating up the beagle a little bit. 180. What is 180? And so again this morning she was kicking poor little poor little uh, Sadie's butt up there, and so now we're going to separate there. We're going to feed Sadie inside and Liberty out because she is pretty scary, man. When she gets when she gets riled up, she won't she doesn't do that with us, of course, but she gets uh, she gets a little scary. Hey, CL, where you at? Yeah, we need some. We see, need some of your. We need some of your. I I I guarantee you, Newman, that CL has already gone through eBay. He knows all the prices on all these cards. We were talking last night. And he was. Uh, he was. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Sam Dyson. That's a cool card, too. And who has the Braves? I do. 
Oh, Ryan Sandberg, but it's not autographed. It's a good thing it's not autographed. I don't want Mandy to be upset. Hey, uh, Ignacio, what's that 184? Chris Davis. Wilson Harris. So now on e on the website we have the uh, the random break. So now we want to start. Uh, everyone needs to start thinking about. Hey Robbie, everyone needs to start thinking about the random break and buying into the random break. Hey Robbie, look. Uh, probably one, two hours from now. This is hobby. This is hobby. Robbie, look at that. It's out of 50, 19 out of 50. So that's yours, Robbie. Hey, CL. Look at the, the, the Tatis Jr. out of 99. What do you think that's worth? Yeah, two hours. Well, we uh, we were getting a little started late, later started uh, for this one because we were I was yakking, but we'll get the rhythm going. Yeah, I know, isn't it nice out of fifty? Robbie J scores again. Oh, a clear! Look at that, we got our first clear, guys. Two out of ten. Mile straw, two out of ten, a clear for the Astros. That one is cool. All right, just for the fun. Hey, Nat, can you give me a 35 point? We're going to put that in a 35 just because we can. Our first clear. This is a good box. See? 250 to 300 so the the this is what I'm talking about with these kind of things guys the 35 pointers when we um when we have these things that jump out I mean that's there's your money San Diego's all paid up Padres are all paid up and the, that's what I was saying with the Braves the Braves I I, I mean I'm glad I'm, I'm not I'm glad I, I I'm not glad no one bought them but I mean I'm happy to have them but uh um the value is in can be with these things in just one card you know and you get that one quick hit and and you know now san diego's like way ahead of the game our first clear uh, i'm so happy i'm like a i'm like a new daddy Look at my little baby. It's not mine, but look at the little baby that came out of that. Oh, how precious. Uh, no, no, no. Eric, Betty. Yeah, but it's still two out of ten, though. And if you and if you bought the Astros, you're like, yeah, two out of ten. Our first clear. the The only thing that did not sell, and I didn't bum rush it to try to sell it, was the Braves out of the hobby. Because I and I, I Ignacio bought the jumbo last night, which is great. But my Kopech, my feelings were not hurt. Um. I was telling CL this last night that my I I really I really have this strong feeling about the uh, uh, nope silver's right here Robbie I, that's exactly what I am Ryan that is exactly what I am silver we're opening at the end Robbie 
Um, I, I have this feeling about the Mariners. And uh, I, you know, for the Braves and the value, the potential to, for the Braves is so big. You know, the potential for the Braves is so big. I, I would argue, and I know this isn't going to be popular, but I would argue that they, it's not even a one-two thing with them and the, and the Yankees. It's like one and one A. Or 1A and 1B, you know, that kind of a situation. But, I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. Jace Fry, nope. We're waiting till the end because uh, we want to torture everyone. Now, for those of you who vote in, vote, vote on it. If you bought in this break and you want me to open this over right now, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's do it. You tell me. Robbie, you're in this. Mandy, you're in this. Ryan, are you in this one? Kyle Wright, this is an SP. So you tell me. Do you guys want to open them now? You want to open them after this? We'll, we'll stop and open them. Who else is in this break? I, I'm, I'm more than happy. Another Pete. I'm more than happy to to uh, open them right now. That's three Pete Alonzo, Robbie. Oh, you're at work. Okay, I hear you. Well, they'll be at the end, so one o'clock ish. Oh, Bob is saying no. Bob wants to do it at the end. Brandon Lau. Jace Peterson is not. I thought that, that looked like an SP. Bob is voting at the end. Everyone else, can you guys are welcome to vote. I told you, Robbie felt that that trout through the force, and he knew that he had to get here because something was happening good for him. Johnny Field. Well, I hope so. If Johnny can't field, he's going to be out of the game really quick. Or he'll be playing in the American League. I mean, ah, look at that. Got the corner. Way to go, Tops. Way to go, Tops. So this morning on the on the way back from picking up this load, God damn it, we uh, uh, went by and picked up everything. Scooter. We went by and picked up everything I would need for another keto pizza. I, you know what, Robbie, for you, I will. Uh, St. Peter's, Max. Missouri, St. Louis area. I know. Tops, geez. I love me some keto pizza, Robbie. You know that. Love me some pizza, keto pizza. This one has bacon, salami, um, pepperoni, ham, mushrooms, olives. I bought some Italian meatballs. Those are cooking away on there. Yes, sir. Meat on meat pizza. That is that is it. That is heaven. That is good stuff. I I don't understand these this insert. I I don't understand it. How about you? Is it is it? Uh, is it 
Matt crazy? I mean, that's just the way it sounds, or is there something? Roger Clemens. That is not Roger Clemens. But that's Max Scherzer. This is Max Scherzer out of 10. Max Scherzer, one out of 10. Man, and it, look at that. You can see that little white, and you can see that little, the back looks fine, but there is a little pop on that corner. What's up, Jim? This is a Scherzer out of 10, and you can see white. Look at that. That sucks. It's not a ding, it's just some white. That blows. Yeah, who is that guy? That sucks. This is numbered 1 out of 10. And it says white there and I mean two of these corners. Ah. These are the heartbreaking things right here. Those are the heartbreaking things. I mean that really that sucks in a in a, in a How are we doing this morning, Jim? That would be an awesome card. So for who who has the nationals? Jim Hutter. Jim, it was not me. It was not me. Man, that sucks, dude. Tops, jeez. Alan Hansen. My boys, my boys are, are not paying me off yet. I'm not asking for a lot. I mean, just one Buster Posey autograph and all the SSPs. I, that's not asking that much, right? Running late. Are you in the hobby break, Jim? Justin Smoke. Uh, not yet, Robbie. And behind him, Tyler Molly. Tyler Molly was my first one of one ever. It was Tyler Molly? Oh no, not my first. I lied. My first was uh, Joe Hay. Yes, so far we have pulled some very nice cards. We got this Trout Patch card, and this is out of 50. 19 out of 50. That one's nice. We pulled a clear Miles Straw for Houston. And we pulled a really nice um, Tatis $250, $300 card. Oh, black. But we're just really getting started. So early. Just coming to hang out, eh? Well, come on and hang out. That is a game used my Trout MLB logo. Here's the second one. Stephen Wright. Out of 99. Game used. Not really game used. But we're going to say that. Game used. Mike Trout. MLB logo. But not really. Patch card.
We're trying to fool Robbie, so everyone just play along and we'll fool Robbie. Who has the Cubs in this break? I think it's Adam. Adam K. Is Adam here? I don't, I don't think I've seen Adam so far this morning. Look, the Giants. Oh, how precious. Tony Gwynn. I, that's one autograph that I wish I, I had. I wish I had a Tony Gwynn. I don't think I do. Do I have a Tony Gwynn autograph ball? No. Sorry, I'm bumping everything. You know, my manly arms like to bump things when I'm moving around. I don't think Adam's here. Frank Barreto. Ortiz. Ugh. Lanson comes into a game, the Giants are ahead, and then he leaves, and a couple of batters, and the Giants are behind four runs. Ugh. You know, when your team is already kind of sucky, and then the guys are going blowing the games, it makes it even worse. Ooh, that keto pizza smells good. Alex Bregman, 150. No, I'm going to admit here yeah, that they have here in St. Louis, we are members of the Botanical, the Missouri Botanical Garden. They have member Tuesday nights. And so you go, and it was very quiet and peaceful. It was beautiful. Um, um, not a lot of people, you know. It just really just peaceful and calm. And then we went out to this little diner afterwards, and I did not eat keto. Oh, what a great card. I've had, I have this one somewhere. 51 Redbacks. I think I like the Bluebacks better, but the Redbacks are nice. The, um, and I did not, I had breakfast. I had a steak uh, breakfast thing, but it was had hash browns. And I enjoyed the hash browns, and I don't feel bad. Oh, camera's cockeyed. Hold on, let me fix this. Sorry, guys. I was so busy talking about potatoes, I didn't notice the camera. My bad. My bad. Like everything else I do, I'm a little uh, off. My bad. Like that card. Oh, franchise, the Phillies. Hoskins, Carlton, and Utley. That's a cool card. You could not come up, faces of the franchise, you could not come up with somebody other than Chase Utley. Okay, Reese Hoskins, new. Steve Carl, no. But you could not come up, all the Phillies, you couldn't put Mike Schmidt in there. You couldn't put, I mean, there have been great Phillies throughout history. You could not have come up with somebody better than that knucklehead. Honestly, tops. Really? All right, Robbie. We'll see you later. We'll have more hits for you when you come back. Jason Hayward. So this is a dead pack. Good. Yes. Me too. Me too, Jim. I didn't have time to eat this morning, you know. Because all these people that buy cards from me and stuff, they're, they're slave drivers. <coughs> this one's got to be. They're slave drivers. They just, you know, take, 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 take. Got to have these things done at a certain time, and everyone's so needy. And I said to all of them, wouldn't we be happier doing this at a more reasonable hour than 10 o'clock in the morning? And what I get for it? I get for it. Lots of angry people telling me when I'm going to do my breaks. It was terrible, Jim. It was terrible. Is that the way everyone remembers it? The way I remember it.
David Fletcher. What are those 59 looking cards you're pulling? 59 looking cards? Which ones? Oh, these? I, the, the dumbest insert ever. I, Gary V's Top Entrepreneurs in Baseball. I, I have no idea. They're just dumb cards. They are just dumb cards. Good morning. Is that, my, is that my mother on or my father? 2019 Caleb Ferguson. Or both. Papa. Gucci. Steve Carlton, that would be a good one. And apparently those are mixed in here somewhere, so we'll, it would be nice to get one of those. It's been a good first case, though. How are you, Mom? I have no idea who Gary V is. I've never heard of Gary V. I, I have never heard of Gary V. Tatis. That one Tatis card pays for half the case. That one Tatis card pays for half the case. Now we get some Pete Alonzo love going for Robbie. I have no idea who Gary V. Has anyone ever heard of Gary V? Kevin Longoria. Okay. Oh, sure. This Scherzer is all no problems with this thing. All the corners are great. Nothing and no issues. But give me the one out of ten, and the corners are all janked up. Box whatever four is done. We are moving on. Let me move these cards, and we'll move on. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be a long day on four hours sleep. It's going to be a long weekend. Four. Sixty-five hundred. Um... One fifty for the Royals. So we are going to wind up moving. What is it? Sixty five hundred times. Eight cases, four breaks. So we're going to be moving twenty six thousand cards. Um, plus cards, twenty six thousand plus cards. We will have moved by the end of the weekend. And we will not miss our guaranteed two-day shipping. We have never missed it. We will not miss it now. Like I said, the cases that we're breaking today, the three that we're breaking today, um, um, unless you guys are buying up those spots in the, uh, unless you guys are buying up those spots in the, uh, In the random break, let's get that random break sold out. Everyone go buy a couple spots in the random break. We'll get that sold out. We'll break that too. We'll break that one first thing in the morning. But anyway, oh, look at that one. That's cool. The Nationals. 
but the uh, we're gonna end up moving 26,000 cards um, so the, these first three cases will go Padres will go uh, tomorrow and then uh, everything else will ship out um, will be packaged up and shipped on Sunday packaged up and taken down to the post office so everyone who buys in today or buys into our um, eBay break tonight mail out. Um, this stuff will ship out tomorrow. We are sorting it as we speak. And we will package it up. Um, 18. 18 because we haven't really started pushing it yet. But I'm going to start pushing it heavy. And we'll get it pushed on Facebook and everything else. And, and then we'll get rolling on it. So it won't take long for that one to fill up. Nothing in this one? Rough and Odor is not one? If he used Old Spice, he'd have to change his uh, name. 18, so everybody go run to the run to the website, buy another team up. Brian, you already bought one, didn't you? Let's sell out this random break. Good card. Yankees. I know Robbie bought two. Cedric Mullen. So Tim, you need to start thinking about uh, uh, what you want to do with your full case spot that you got for buying the most teams in this break. You're a good man, Ignacio. That's why I like you. Even though you're a Padres fan, I forgive you. Oh, that's a nice one. Catfish Hunter. See, I like him with the old school guys. Catfish. David. David is on it. All my uh, sorting crew is, has been given notice that we're going to be working through the night to make sure that all of this is done and shipped out in the morning. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, remember, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have the rollover shipping. All of this will ship for free. If you buy into the random break, the random break ships for free. But everything for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is all rollover shipping. So if you buy up your five teams tonight, What's up, Brandon? Uh, pretty good, actually. We 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 are doing pretty well. No autographs yet, but the uh, the relics have been pretty good. We got a, a trout out of fifty. We got a two hundred and fifty dollar uh, Fernando Tatis out of ninety nine. Not the low color on that one yet, but SPs are rolling in. Um, but anyway, any Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's all rollover shipping. So you hit your five team cap, eight ninety nine, and Brandon Hippler knows this. Um, and uh, if we got to ship them all in a box to get to you, we will ship them all in a box. We cap that shipping, and it goes out priority mail. Priority mail to you. And we will have all of that wrapped up and all card ship as always. All card ship. So for the team builders especially, here you go. Randy Johnson. How much did you overstate it by? Okay to overstate it. We'll, we'll correct it. Yeah. Yeah, he looks better in his uniform. Gary V is a YouTube. So he's like that other guy that was in Series 1, huh? Okay, so 150-ish. That's a nice one. Evolution. Yachty. And Bob Gibson.
Even if it's worth a hundred. Even if it's worth a hundred, the, the Padre spot is way big time paid for. Way big time paid for. We got a Miles Straw Clear card. There's Frazier. Which was cool. Out of two out of ten. We got a uh um A sad Max Scherzer. This Scherzer card is numbered 1 out of 10. But it came out of the pack with a pop on that corner and a pop on that corner. So I'm probably going to get an earful from Jim. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I, I wouldn't be thrilled with that either. So Jim, if you need to yell at me, you can yell at me. You can do all caps and, you know, whatever. All right, Mac, thanks for coming by. Go Blues. Even though I'm not a hockey fan, I'll say it. Go Blues. I like to see the Blues win it. It's a good case so far. I was drawn to this case. What's up, Aaron? Uh, well, we got that nice Tatis. We got the uh, um, clear smile straw, two out of ten. We got a one out of ten Scherzer. We got a out of fifty. Uh, Jumbo Relic of uh, Mike Trout. We've had some nice low hits. Robin Yount. That's a nice one. Look at that. That is a good looking one. 31. Did you did you use your dividing? I, I actually did, Bob. I'm not kidding you. I picked up the first one. Um, uh, for this case so far, we, have, we haven't had an autograph yet. I, I actually did because um, I picked up the first case, Bob, and I was like, nope, that's not the one. And then I went back and I, and, and I was drawn to this case. And I was like, yep, that's the one. And so I picked that case up, and that is the case that we opened this morning because, you know, I want for, it's for you guys. I mean, it's, you know, Gary V, Charlie Blackman, the Rockies. Game used memorabilia. And so it's a, you know, my homies. It's our Facebook group. You know, uh, what'd you, what'd you see last? Did you see the trout? Um, did, did you see the clear? Oh, look at that one. We got this one, this Scherzer card, one out of ten. Uh, we got a really nice Tatis out of 99. So you're pretty much up. Fernando. Teddy ball game. Jason Vargas, this one's numbered. Okay, this you could tell this one was out of one of those one fifties. Vargas. Jason Vargas one fifty. 
Hi, Brandon. Good to see you, man. Okay. I will send you a text. <laughs> yes, vintage stock. Vintage stock. Moncada. We got that one out of black. Heath. Up high, down low. Kikuchi, go. Kikuchi, go. Chris Owing. What's that called? Foil. Foil. Pete. We're at the halfway point after this box. Yes, I am wrong. I will write. 150 Nova and a 9 out of 50. For the Cardinals. Dominic. Is it Leon? Le one, he's French. It's Le one, Dominic Le one. Uh, you know that's what I'm calling from now on. Le one. I'm gonna move this. Bye. All right, website, 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 random break. Everyone rush over, buy a team. If we get that sold out today, we will open that first thing in the morning. I just don't think there's time today. Nick of 150. And I know everyone wants to be a part of our random break. Ship's free. So you don't have to worry about that. Welcome back, Johnny. Uh-oh, there's something gold coming up. Fernando. Oh, geez. 
Commando Tatis. That's a cool one. Ty Cobb. Tony Kemp. For sure. Luke. Um, yeah, we haven't had that problem in, we haven't had that problem in a long time, but on the odd occasion that it does happen, actually, we had that happen here. We had one guy who didn't pay for a team. Um, they, uh, there's a big box I have, uh, Thomas, and then, uh, at some point during the year, we take all the, the, we pack it up like normal. We don't take out the autographs or anything, and then at some point during the year, uh, nothing huge, Johnny. <clears throat> we uh, do some kind of giveaway, some kind of group thing, probably a Facebook group thing, and we just we give all that away. <clears throat> That's what we did last year anyway, so we'll see. I've got to go through and sort all the stuff that I've opened so far. Um, and get I want to get some team lots done. San Francisco Giants, Trevor Story. We just like to, you know, bottom right. Okay. It's fun to find something to do with them. For my homies. And my homelets. I guess they'd all be homies. Yeah, I guess we could. Maybe stick them on the website. Do that too. Yankees, Atlanta. Brad Hand. Rizzo. Hunter Renfro, San Diego, no autos yet, no autos yet. Usually in a case of these you get two or three, I think. And then we have a silver pack of course, silver packs. Ozzy, go, go, Willie. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, decent ace cards for you, David. Let me see. Um, we had a nice catfish hunter, SP. Um, and a Dennis Ector for the SP. A couple of decent ones for you. Enough to pay for your spot for sure. We got a uh, clear 2 out of 10. Uh, Miles Straw Pablo. We got a um, Scherzer 1 out of 10. We got a, a uh, Trout. Nice Trout Relic out of 50. Tony Boy. So yes, we got a nice uh, Tatis low number and that 100 to 125, oh yeah, all the eBay teams will sell. All right, there's no doubt about that. This weekend will be a busy weekend. Busy. 
and we like busy. And we're doing the silver packs at the end. Who else do you have? Do you have anyone else in on this one, David? Oh yeah, you do. You have the Pirates, Royals, and the Brewers. There was a, I thought there was a decent little Brewers hit. Oh yeah, Robin Yount too, for the Brewers for an SP. Yeah, it's coming along. Austin Slater, Kikuchi, one fifty. Need some Pete Alonzo magic going on here. Melanson. We got no Pete Alonzo magic yet. Well, vacation will be more fun. I hope. Matt Harvey. Now, this is the Strasburg SP right here. This is the Strasburg SP for the Nationals. Jim. Jimmy. No, the clear was the uh, Astros. You have the. You do not have them. We're still in the first case, boys and girls. Mookie Betts, Ted Williams, David Ortiz. Again, I could think of two better Red Sox that I would put on there for a face of the franchise. I mean, there's this guy named Yastrzemski who was the face of the franchise for a long time. I get Ted Williams. Mookie Bet is current. Appa. You know, so. But it's just. Sam Dyson, Jacob Nix for the Padres. Jacob Nix is our first autograph, top certified for San Diego. Who has the Padres in this break? The Padres belong to Curtis. Curtis. Huh? Okay. No, nah, I got this right here. I'm fine. Okay. Is the pizza done yet? Uh, it'll be done when I get back. I'm sure. Nah, it won't be four hours. It'll be three for sure. It'll be three for sure. Roger Clemens, blue. Roger Clemens, blue. And even if it is four, eh. Uh, we're halfway. This is a halfway point right here. And we have the silver at the end. Whitey Ford. Well, we got started a little late. I was having a little fun at the beginning. Too much fun at the beginning. Brian Goodwin for the Royals. But can you really have too much fun? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Are you bored already, Ryan? You know it's more boring to sit there and watch than it is to crack the pack. Rockies, Tampa, Dakota, Hudson. And our second. Vlad. No number. Our second. Vlad. No number. You know what? I should probably put those. In the top loader. I think we got one right away, didn't we? We'll stick those in. On board. Why don't you come over here and uh, open this and I'll uh, do your job for you. What do you do for a living? Nah, I'm not really bored. Opening packs of cards is the least boring thing I do. Dexter Fowler. Thanks, Lynn. Cody Bellinger. J.D. Davis and Jorge Alfaro. One of my favorite players is coming up. Roberto Clemente. Nice. Continuous improvement. Okay. Il Demaro Vargas. It's the Jeff Samarcha pack. Alan Hansen. Trevor Story. Um, hobby is a guaranteed auto, right? Every uh, box. Jumbo, I think, has more of the SPs if it follows the same as Series 1. And I think you get, there are certain things that are specific to um, Hobby that are not in Jumbo. Let me see real quick. Two thousand, oops, nineteen. Come on, fingers. Hack odds, huh? What is What to expect in a hobby box? Autograph, memorabilia card, a commemorative relic, 150th anniversary, and the rainbow foil. So there are some things that are specific to each one. Which one did I do? I didn't do bottom right. I'll do. Remind me, Johnny. I'll do it next. Yeah, we did get. Yeah, we got the uh, acetate in here. The clear. I forgot, Johnny, my bad. Pablo. Uh, that That's true, Ryan. See, it was the upside. I'm going to move these real quick.
it's crazy in here because we have we literally have four separate um, I think it's about done Betty four separate uh, sorting stations so we completely rearranged the room again I added a ton of storage I loaded up on uh, all my supplies because I knew it was going to be a heavy run for these uh, two or three weeks. Woo! Oh, snap! I got the SSP! I got the SSP! Holy cow! I got the SSP of Mel Ott. Holy moly! It sure is too. It's a 32. Holy cow! I got the melon. Woohoo! Uh, it's a keto pizza, bacon, sausage crust pizza. Holy cow! Doesn't uh, it, it? Doesn't matter now for me. It doesn't matter now. The melon SSP. I'm very happy. Thank you, tops. I knew there was a reason why I picked this case. Well, I was going to get the Giants anyway, but, you know. But still, I'm going to pretend like it wouldn't have happened had I not picked this case. Woohoo! I am very happy about that. I, I was looking at that on the, I almost bought it on eBay last night, and I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to wait and see what happens with the cases. Because, I mean, seriously, right now they're out there for 100 bucks a piece. Oh, but I waited and now I'm so happy. Carlton Fisk. Wow. The Mel Ott SSP. John. For shame. For shame. Know your history. If you don't know Mel Ott, you need to look him up. You need to look him up. Um, you know what? Seriously, bacon. It's it's. You just take um, the so whatever sausage you like. I sometimes I use sweet Italian. Sometimes I just use regular Italian sausage. Um, sometimes you mix the ground beef with the sausage. It kind of um, uh, kind of however you want to do that, and then. Uh, then you put your, and that is like your crust, and you put your toppings out from there, you put your your sauce and your cheese and your whatever meats, and then uh, bake in the oven. I, I, I do not know the answer to that question. And I think, I'll tell you, when my wife gets back, I'll tell you how, what she, but I think it's like 400 for an hour or something. And there you go. And yep, you do have to drain off all that fat. But I'm ketogenic, so keto lifestyle is, uh, um, we don't worry too much about the, uh... what, Sadie? Need to go out? One sec for me, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So it, I'm sorry, it's uh, it's 350 for an hour. The crust will be nice and cooked off. It's whatever toppings you want to put on it. I loaded up with meat. This was a slick one, so this is out of the 150. Twenty out of 150. And these are noticeably 
slicker, these, uh, one, these ones out of 150. Verde. 350 for an hour, everything will be cooked through. It'll be awesome. Last week, um, we did a white sauce with chicken, bacon, uh, a garlic white sauce. Um, and it was, uh, it was fantastic. I ate it all up. I put it in my belly. Matt Harvey. <laughs> That's a good one, Johnny. <laughs> Caught his first home run. I like that. Are you saying I'm old? Old enough to be your daddy. Remember that. So maybe come to Cincinnati. Uh, you know what? There are a lot of, and you actually you can. Uh, xylitol and erythritol are both um, um, sugar alcohols, and I use that all the time as stuff, and it's perfectly fine. There's no aftertaste with it, which I like. I don't like the uh, anything that has the uh, aftertaste to it, and those don't. Um, me no. No, not old enough for a senior discount yet. Not even close to being old enough for a senior discount yet. Evolution, the kingdom in Seattle. Oh. You just have to really, you know, know your team. Who are the great players of the... First half. I don't think the Reds had any. That's probably the problem. So, so that's really not a problem. I do a uh, Filipino chicken uh, barbecue chicken dish, um, and I did that with. Uh, um, normally, you use uh, Seven Up or Sprite, and uh, I did that instead with uh, Diet. Um, uh, the there's a uh, no sugar added ketchup that tastes just the same to me. Um, and I did it with that, and that meat was fantastic. I, I soaked uh, um, that in that for uh, two days and grilled it afterwards, and it was fantastic. So I really don't miss that stuff in at all. Corbin out of 150. And honestly, when I do have sugars and things now, I, it, I don't feel good about it. You know, I don't feel good. I had the potatoes last night, and it felt it was uh, it was uh, off. You know, all right, Cam, bring that mojo. Are you the Cam who has the um, that has the Padres and the uh, out of two ninety nine in evolution for the Marlins? Wait, was it Cam that has it? Oh no, it's Curtis. So yeah, so that that Filipino yeah the bar Filipino barbecue chicken I did not notice any difference in the way that I used to make it between then and now. And the things I like to make, I'm I'm more of a savory person than a sweet person anyway. So chicken adobo and oh. It's the Johnny Bench SP. It is the Johnny Bench SP. That's a cool one right there. I like it. I like it. Johnny Bench with Joe Morgan. And the Padres. Will Myers, Tony Gwynn, Dave Winfield. Okay. I can live with that card. Melanson. They they have a uh, place here called Gorilla Street. Um, that's a Filipino place, um, and it was between that or trying that new 
that Robin Yelp, the the diner, going to that diner, and uh, ultimately, I chose a diner because um, I'm not sure my kids like Filipino like I do. Kikuchi. Point Frazier. If Madison Bumgarner does get traded to the Yankees, I believe part of that package will involve this guy. Robin Yount for the Brewers. That's a nice little chunk. Nice little piece for Tim. Yount. That card. And we still have, oof, at the end, all 12 of the silver packs. All 12 of the silver packs. All right, Bacon. We'll see you in a while. Gary. Bueller. Yes. Me. I am Filipino on my mother's side of the family. And I do love me some Filipino food. Give me some adobo. Some, any kind of Filipino barbecue. The Cardinals. And a big pile of lumpia. And I'm a happy man. No, I can't eat lumpia anymore. You know, maybe, maybe I don't really eat ponset anymore. Because, but there are some zero... Some low carb noodles, and I, I think I'm going to try to make some ponce out of that. That would be good. Well, it won't really be ponce, but you know, it'll be a reasonable facsimile thereof. Amen to that, Ignacio. Amen to that. Load up my plate, let me eat. Load up my plate, and let me eat. Ramber Valdez. There was for a while a Filipino buffet here in St. Louis. It was all right. Uh, but in California, we had several places that were right by us. Negative. What did I see that was green? I thought something was green there. It's not. Yep. I could eat Filipino food every day. I don't make chicken adobo enough myself anymore i need to start doing every time i do i i eat the whole thing which is fine because it's no carbs colby ellsbury negative Bottom right. Oh, jeez. Let's hope there's nothing in here, guys, because that was me. Alcantara. Oh, I killed Jackie Robinson. Good thing he's not hurt. J.D. Davis. All right, we're going bottom right. Woo, 
So if you're bought into this break, like I said, Wednesday breaks, they will all, everything will be put together and shipped out tomorrow, bottom right. So we've got the eBay break at 11 o'clock. We have these two web breaks. We're working on the, uh, the random break now on the website is the last in there. So if everyone wants to buy up those random spots, buy those random spots. We can break the uh, random tomorrow. You already got me some mojo, man. I got the I got the uh, mail lot. JD. And we will, of course, recap at the end. So, fast shipping for our website breaks. They uh, ship free. Christian Stewart, 150. They ship free. Random break is $30 a spot. Good value for the team potential. Rosario, Alcantara, David Ortiz. Glad to say he didn't get killed. Real shame. You can't even go anywhere and without people trying to knock you off because you got money. Not an Ortiz fan. I think he was a PED guy, big time. Especially his final year in baseball, I think he was loaded up on on PEDs. Colorado, Patrick Wisdom. But, you never want to see anyone get hurt. Never ever want to see anyone get hurt. What, what am I going to talk about? I love baseball cards. Ooh. And this was a bat relic. This thing. And then Mookie. Oh, no, this is a memorabilia. We were just talking about the Red Sox and up jump Mookie Betts. Red Sox. Taylor. Yeah, don't forget about all the Filipino food. That's the other thing we we're talking about. Baseball cards and Filipino food. SSP. I not gonna have a chance to eat. Um, sit in the microwave. Just let it sit. Do you want it down here? Um, I it'll be a while. Johnny Mize. I mean, I'll take two minutes after we get done with this, but once just. Put it back in there and leave it in the oven. Let it cool. I love baseball cards. JD Martinez. Now this these are kind of cool. These are tougher hits, I think. That's the advantage of the website. You can plan ahead. Um, best Lumpia. Best Lumpia, Tim. I love, oh, a giant. I love Best Lumpia. That barbecue pork they have at Best Lumpia is, is crazy good. Or pork barbecue, as they call it. Sitting in the office watching baseball card pulls out of packs. <laughs> it's research. You're doing research. Best Lumpia. I love Best Lumpia. Uh, 
not as much as Dave Wong's, but you know, Kansas City Royal. Yeah, but the money's at 1 a.m. I met Rosario. The money is late. I wish the money was early. That would make me happy, but the money is late. And I'm always said if I buy one more. Body Ford World Series card. She's going to start. <laughs> and I and I just don't like Severino. I don't like selling the break at one night and then opening it the next. That bothers me a lot. It's, it bothers me a lot. That's just, for eBay, it bothers me a lot. Website, I don't mind so. Black coming up. A black. Baruki, man, this guy's everywhere. He's in everything out of two ninety nine. Baruki, Baruki, I guess. Baruki sounds better to me. But I guess if you like Baruki. I I have not. She told me she would be back out of the hospital in a couple of weeks, and that's the last I heard. So I'm hoping if she's in back in the hospital that she's out soon. Ooh, that's a good card. For sure. Hey, uh, CL, you saw I got my uh, Mel Ott, right? Well, we everyone should jump on the Facebook page and, and wish her well. I know she tries to stay up with the Facebook page. That's what I would do. Jump on Facebook. Tell her we're thinking about her. Hope that she's doing all right. So one down, Ozzy. What's the uh, hit rate for SSP CL? Is it one for Case Kikuchi? Bill Mazeroski. Go at a 150. That's a nice piece. This one's actually numbered out of 150. We'll put Bill in a little sleeve here. Why not? I should put the other 150s in there. When I go through them, I will. Heat! Alonzo. Pete Alonzo number five or six. But no color yet for Pete. We have, I thought we had something in there. Robert Stock. And Glaber. Glaber Home Run Challenge. Eloy. Did you get one in your case?
Dale Murphy. I remember this card. Zach Wheeler. Nope. San Diego Sluggers. Taylor Ward. Cordero, 150. Did you really got Melot? Well, you better save that one for me. Joy. Better be some saving going on. Blah. Pablo. So, what do we mean one? What is one? Quit being greedy. You have one, you need more. Ian Hat. So, I think what you're trying to tell me is you've already listed it. One of the greatest home run, home run hitters of the first half of baseball. That's why. Sam Dyson. And because no one could come up with uh, any Cincinnati Reds in the first half of the game of baseball, um, that was worth a crap. So, you know. If you're already listed, I get it. Come now. There you go. Last pack of boxes. Jackie. Zach Wheeler out of 99 for the Mets. Zach Wheeler out of 99 for the Mets. I could have been one of the greatest home run hitters in the first half of baseball. Yeah, maybe. Zach Wheeler. Or Robbie J. Ben and Cindy. Box eight. Box nine. Betty, Juan Lagaris, Lagaris, remember that first case that we did of the, uh, uh, no, it won't be 2 o'clock, 
the first case we did a top series one, I pulled both the SPs out for the Giants. And then I ever got another one. It shan't be two o'clock. Might be one thirty, but it won't be two o'clock. Reggie. Pete. Be back in a bit. Okay. That's what that means. Evolution uniform for the Reds, Bato and Bench. Pablo. Evolution Milwaukee. Pets, entrepreneurs. Hmm. No, there are not Gucci grape. That's a big negative. That's a big negative. Vlad Jr. SP. And Sean Ray Cole. That's a big negative. Mike Trout. Sleep on trail. Carl Edwards Jr. for the Cubs, and right behind that, home run challenge. Challenge Bobby Baez. <laughs> A giant. Oh, how wonderful. Speaking of uh, trouty mouth, I need a drink. I'm getting a little parched. Time for some lemonade. Murphy. Got a little ding on it. A little piece out of it. 
Great moments, Bob Gibson. San Francisco, Josh Rogers. Ben Griffey Jr. E.J. Stewart. I know. No out was a stud. Friend pro. Johnny hates anything that I that I like. It's his thing. He feels like he's antagonizing me. I think that's what his goal is, anyway. And when it doesn't work out for him, he doesn't like it. Gonzalez. Here's... Uh... Got a fat one in here. The game used. Oh, look at that one. Marichal for the Giants. 98 out of 150. And the Giants come through. Juan Marichal out of One. Awesome. It's a big fat pile of awesome sauce. Big fat pile of awesome sauce. Bill Rizzuto. Probably black. Walker Bueller. Whatever. Hey, where is it? Barnes, Will Clark, D6, Austin, with everything when you do these, you got to catch your rhythm, Joe Ross, Nineteen twenty nine, right? That was a big year for Ruth. And my guess is there was only one MVP. I bet you that was a big year for uh Gehrig. Longoria, there's the Texas. Bet your pitchers got more love back then than they do now. Eddie Murray for the Baltimore Orioles. SP. Eddie Murray with a good afro. 
31. So this is an SP. Nice. They have a war for the angels. Gone. And too low. Yeah, but back then, did they have MVPs in both leagues? I don't know for sure the answer to that question. 150. Falafel out of 67. Andrew takes trades. Um, if there was only one MVP for all of baseball, I that wouldn't surprise me. But who knows? Rogers Hornsby. Yeah, there you go. There's another reason why. Rogers Hornsby. Let's just uh, Verdugo. Faces of the franchise. Andre Dawson was live for Scherzer. Okay. You put up those kind of numbers now, and you are a lock. You are a lock. You would be a lock for the MVP. Dexter Fowler. Papa. Box nine. Freeman. <laughs> Pop that. See, my arms get in the way. Box ten. Knock that thing straight up. or no AL MVP. Austin Slater. Are you sure it just wasn't one MVP for all of baseball? National League in uh, 28 and 30. Hank Aaron, that's a nice one. Edwin Diaz, SP. This one's 104 out of 150. Mickey Cochran, he was, I can't remember who Cochran traded for, Detroit. Lefty Grove is a pitcher. And 29 they were separate? Uh, I thought they were back then they were one Tatis.
Because 1919 was the Black Sox. Batting. If there was a, uh, oh, Dennis Santana for the Dodgers is our autograph. Dennis Santana for the Dodgers. Marie has a hit. Santana. Congratulations, Marie. Hmm, that's crazy. I wonder what happened. I wonder why that is. That's just that's a strange thing. San Francisco. Rizzo. Cal Ripken Jr. Hmm. It doesn't say why there was no MVP for that for the for uh, that year. That's a strange thing. And I don't know the answer to that, which is weird for me. Nolan Ryan, Iconic Cards. Prosper. Gold. Hmm, 2000. So they were separated, uh, formally separated until then, huh? That is crazy. That is craziness. Mile Straw. Lorenzo Kane. You learn something every day. Thank you. No. There was no award in 1920 and 1921. The National League didn't select an MVP in 1922 and 1923. And the American League didn't select an MVP in 1929. Huh. They just decided not to, huh? Crazy. Two more boxes after this, Chris. Alan Hansen, 150. Financial strains, huh? So they didn't have the money to make a trophy. That sucks. Opening cards and learning. That's uh this is my kind of break. Jake K. Why is Bryce Harper? It'll be half an hour or so, Chris. Half an hour or so. There is an SP for the Red Sox for sale. This is a one, right? It is a one. If if there was any justice in the world, that's exactly what would happen, right? 
That is exactly what would happen. Rodriguez for the Mariners. Alonzo. Pete Alfonso for the Metropolitans. Ahmed Rosario, go. Kikuchi, oil. Kikuchi. Kikuchi. De Los Santos, Eloy Padres, Pablo Springer. Springs, Jeffrey Springs for Texas. Nick Chuffo. Feels like he is a 150. Tampa Bay Rays, Nick Qui. Quifo? Quifo? Something. Out of 150. Dale Murphy. That'd be an awesome autograph to get. One fifty Um Yes, give me a second. It was the Before the Giants were the Giants, let's see, the Gothams were the, were the Yankees, I think. Um, maybe I am thinking of the Giants. We're going to go out on a limb and we're going to say the New York Gothams. Though I, for some reason I think that was the Yankees. But if not, educate us. Eighteen eighty three and eighty four, huh? I got one right. Good for me. Dave Winfield. Uh, 
Alan Hansen. Eric Lauer. You know why the Reds got their name? Cincinnati Reds, because the owner was a communist. I bet you didn't know that. I read that on the interwebs. And you know, when you see something on the interwebs, it's always true. Oh, that would be a sweet card. The interwebs never lie. So clearly that one must be true. Which is also why the Reds sucked for so many years because the uh, they didn't uh, um, they didn't want to pay their players, you know. The original Baltimore Orioles became the New York Yankees, huh? That's that's some knowledge right there. Taylor Ward out of 150. That is a knowledge bomb. There's a Tatis. One fifty Marquez. For sure. Andre Dawson. Hey, Yankees fans, your team was a retread. Aramis Garcia. Evan Longoria. Addison Russell. That's a nice one. San Francisco Giants, Real Muto, out of 99, Significant Statistics Relic Card for the Miami Marlins, out of 99. Uh, I wouldn't say in sports. But, you know, in baseball for sure. Carlton Fisk Blue. Altuve, Ryan Bagwell. Who is better in all of sports than the Yankees? Well, I'm sure some people from England would probably argue with you about that. Where they play that game of football.
Giancarlo Stanton, Buxton. Ray Black for the Giants. England. Yeah, oh that 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 team too. You got, I bet you guys didn't know this. The originally the New England Patriots were um, a Montana football team. They were called the Montana Icebergs. They played uh, one game there and decided it was just too cold. And so then they moved to Boston where they became the Patriots. Mostly because most of the players that they had on the original um, iceberg were uh, all uh, part of a uh, militia. You know, they were those freedom guys. So, you know. Yeah, one of those. There, I dropped some knowledge on you. You're welcome. Might be made up knowledge, but it's knowledge nonetheless. Yeah, I'm talking English football. They would probably argue with that. The Dallas Cowboys were actually originally the uh, Arkansas Mountaineers, Reese McGuire, and before they were the Cowboys. Look it up. It's on the interweb. I'm just saying. You know. Yankees are fifth on the list. Who's above the Yankees? Willie Stargell. Who, McGuire? Tommy Hunter. For the Arkansas Mountaineers, is that what you're talking about? Their their brand recognition? It is. It is huge. Robert, stop. Ooh, that would be cool. The team from Barcelona was originally called <coughs> the Chorizos, but that is hard for people, you know. 
It was hard for people, so they changed the name. Under pants. What's the what's the full name of the Barcelona team? Is it like EF or FC Barcelona or something? So are you talking like the Yankees are the most storied franchise? In uh, in that, there's another Vlad. That kind of thing. No, they aren't even the most storied franchise in baseball. That would be clearly be the Miami Marlins. Clearly would be the Miami Bar Marlins. Because they have to give them away to people in those countries to make them wear them. Nobody wants to wear a Yankees hat. They literally give them away. They, want, they can't sell them in the United States, so they send them over to China. They send them to Africa. And they say, here, wear these, please. And they wear them over there because they don't know any better. But nobody wants to buy them in America. That's just the way that is, Chris. Most clout, man, Miami Marlins. I don't know what you're talking about. Where, where, what world do you live in where the Miami Marlins do not have the most clout in baseball? They sell out. They have sold out every game in that stadium since the, the franchise started. They have won more World Series in the last 20 years than the Yankees have. All right, 10 years, 15. And now they, are such a, they were such a great franchise, they're owned by a former Yankee. They're owned by a former Yankee. And yes, our first red is, in fact, a giant. Jeff Samarch out of 76. But I don't know what you're talking about. The Yankees are probably fourth or fifth. Orioles are above the Yankees. Colorado Rockies. You know. Rays are actually a good franchise. Um... They really should they really should relocate. They really should relocate. Dave Winfield. Find a, a city that can support A, you know, somewhere up in North Carolina or something. Aaron Judge, Derek Jeter, and Babe Ruth. Cool. Because that just sucks that they can't. Uh, is this Peralta out of 150? It just sucks that they don't draw. They're such a they're such an excellent franchise, and I mean that in all seriousness. They are really. They they draft better than anyone. No one consistently drafts as well as they do. Ch Chaz Rowe, Tampa Bay. That, when's the last time the Yankees won the World Series? I mean, honestly, when's the last time? Man, baseball is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately game. And you know what they've done for me lately? The same thing the Dodgers have. Nothing. Nothing. What, when, when, did the Yankees win the World Series recently? I mean, honestly, did, have they won the World Series?
I think they keep getting their butts kicked by probably the most storied franchise in baseball, the Boston Red Sox. 2009, that was so long ago. Ten years. Ten years, Bacon. Ten years. Oh, all you poor Yankees fans. You guys just hold on to your hopes and dreams. Someday maybe you'll win another World Series, but it ain't going to be soon. Here's, here's my open bet to all you Yankee fans. Last box case for this case. Then we'll do the uh, other packs. I would bet money that my Giants, as lowly and sucky as they are right now, will win the World Series before the Yankees do again. I will bet. I will bet. And, and for that wager, I will put up all of the breaks that CL gets into uh, into us for the next year, I will I will gather them all up, and I will bet anyone all of CL's upcoming breaks that the Giants win the World Series before the Yankees do, and I'll bet that against one dollar. So if I win, I get one dollar. If you win, you get all of CL's breaks. And CL has agreed to it. They're primed to win. They're not going to win, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you Yankee fans. They're not going to win. The only way the Yankees win, mark my words, the only way the Yankees win the World Series, have a shot at it this year, is if they trade for uh, Madison Bumgarner. And he will have to pitch Game 7 of the World Series against the Dodgers, probably, and beat the Dodgers. And he will beat the Dodgers down in Game 7 of the World. Then you will be all thankful, and then all of you thank me next year. And then everyone can. Here comes another red, and everyone can keep uh, all of CL's breaks. CL will break. Matter of fact, CL, since he prefers breaking with other people over me, this one has a ding right there on the corner. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll take all of CL's stuff that he that he breaks with other people too and we'll throw that in there with it all right all right i know all you yankee fans and if the and if the earth those opens up and swallows up all the major league all the teams in baseball except for the giants and the yankees in a seven game series the giants would beat the yankees and you know how i know that to be true do you want to know how I know that to be 100% true? Because I don't have to back that statement up in any way, shape, or form. That's how I know it to be true. Gold Schmidt for the Cardinals out of 150. That's a nice one. We all know there is no way that's going to happen. So I can make that statement and not have to back it up at all. I'll send it to all the other breakers. I'll tell them that you've been, uh, that you've been buying stuff for me and not paying for it. And that uh, they need to send me your stuff, and then I'll send them the stuff for me. Either that, or I'll call your wife, man. I I'm sure I have all your personal information somewhere. I put it on the dark web. Lots of fun stuff. <laughs> what? What do you mean, Bacon? I can make any statement that I want to make. I'm not because I don't have to. If as long as I don't have to back it up, I'm fine. But the Giants would beat the Yankees in a seven-game World Series. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. That was a nice hit. Yankees can't even get past the Red Sox, guys. I mean, the Red Sox are a better franchise right now than the Yankees are. And that should make you guys all mad. I make me bad that the Dodgers are a better franchise than the Giants, but the Dodgers can't win anything. So it doesn't matter. Dodgers can't win a World Series. You can make it to 8,000 World Series in a row, and if you don't, you know what you are? Then you're the Atlanta Braves from the 90s who made it to all those playoffs, won all those games, and did do crap. <laughs> Oops. My bad, CL. <laughs> well, we're having fun. Why can't we have fun? We all know that I'm full of crap. All right to be full of crap. When your team is one of the worst teams in baseball, you got to have fun doing something, right? I mean, for heaven's sakes, the, the Giants are so bad. Buster Posey hit himself with a bat, so he'd be out for two weeks. 
That's how bad my giants are. But it is what it is. And you're right. Nobody wants to be the Buffalo Bills. Well, the Braves of the 90s are the Buffalo Bills. The Braves of the 90s are the Buffalo Bills. I can say that. I say that fully, fully, 100%, no doubt, that the Braves of the 90s are that. They could not win when it, the big one when it counted. The one they did win was a complete accident. I think uh, four of the games, the other team didn't show up, right? So it is what it is. We still have the silver, guys, so no one go anywhere. Silver. It's not hard to hold you. It's not hard to win. Ask the Giants. They won three in five years like it was no big deal. The Yankees were all cheaters when they were winning the World Series. And the Giants have never had one player that played for them that ever cheated in any way, ever. And the Yankees have. The Yankees have been full of cheaters. Giants are never, ever, never, ever have they had any cheaters on them that have been caught. Never, ever have they had any cheaters. Huh? You know. They should. Mike Trout. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if that was real? If the Yankees get Madison Bumgarner, they become the World Series favorite. I guarantee that. That is my guarantee. That is my guarantee. You see me hit the table like that? That was my my guarantee sound. I guarantee the Yankees won the World Series with Madison Bumgarner. No, no. Tell me a giant who has ever, who has ever been uh, um, caught by major league standards for cheating. It's never happened. No giant has ever been caught, and none of the giants' greats. Logan Webb doesn't count. And I don't mean rental players. I mean real players. You know. Anyone can get a rental player. No, that was my guarantee swap. That was my, that was my, there was one earlier that I was swinging at. That was my, I guarantee the Giants. I mean, the, 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 who are we talking about? The Yankees win the World Series if they get uh, Madison Bumgarner. And truthfully, Bumgarner should want to have one more shot at a World Series. And the Yankees could provide that for him. Nothing wrong with that. And you're going into your contract here, you know. Who Barry Bonds was never no 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 Barry Bonds was never caught cheating in anything. No no no. He never tested positive. Never tested positive. Never ever did Barry Bonds test positive for PEDs. Ever. That is a lie. I, Melky Cabrera was a rental. I, I had the caveat. He doesn't count. He was a rental. I, I put the caveat in there to let myself off of that one, Melky Cabrera. But Barry Bonds was never, ever, no. He is not on any list of having been a cheater at all. He was never, ever. <laughs> So there. No, the entire world did know he was a cheater. No, no. Barry Bonds was the greatest player in baseball before any of that happened. The greatest player. Look at that. They did it again with this one. This Ken Griffey Jr. down here on the corner has a couple of white pops. This one's out of two ninety nine. Man, these guys. Pops needs to take care of your cards, Tops. 
Barry Bonds was the best player in baseball before any of that happened. Barry Bonds. Tell me who was a better player than Barry Bonds. Um, he was. A, he's. He still is one of the top ten greatest players uh, ever to play this game. Top ten, guaranteed top ten. There's not another player that had his skill set that could. That none. He was the most feared hitter of many, many, many generations. They have never walked anyone with the frequency that they walked Barry Bonds because he was. Stop bringing up the facts that I can't. Can't, that I can't argue with, uh, Ryan. No, in what fandom? I'm I'm 100% correct. Barry Bonds was never caught cheating. You can speculate about a whole lot of players. You can say this person, this, and this person, that. Do that, but until you are caught, you are not officially anything. Now, did Jeff Bagwell cheat? Did Jeff Bagwell cheat? Now, did Jeff Bagwell cheat? No one knows whether or not Jeff Bagwell cheated, but they call him a cheater. Well, guess what? He never got caught cheating anything. They just speculate that he did. They believe that he did. And that doesn't make you wrong just because someone believes that you did. Now, top 50? Are you kidding me? Bob, that's, that's not even a real conversation. If you guys don't, it's because you don't like Barry Bonds. You have not been paying attention. That you guys are not paying attention. Clemens was never caught either. Yeah, unless you were officially caught, that people are having major issues with their product. And it, it, I agree with that, Chris. There are the quality control so far has been sucky. One hundred percent, we are having that issue. There have been two cards. One of them that was at one out of ten, that had two white pops on it that are that are visible to the eye. That are visible to the eye. Now, I know I'm down on Ricky Henderson, and I have zero doubt Ricky Henderson cheated. Zero doubt. But was, but was Ricky Henderson ever caught? Um, did he ever test positive for steroids? He never did. So that will be my personal opinion. If you guys don't think Barry Bonds is a top 10 player, then, then who? Then who? Because you guys are not remembering this game the right way. He had the best arm in baseball. When he was a young man, he was one of the best. He's a five-tool guy. There are so few five-tool guys that have ever played this game. That have ever played this game. Ever played this game. And he, he was a once-in-a-multi-generational player. Hank Aaron is not the home run king. If you're going to go with Hank Aaron being the home run king, then let's include the Japanese league in that, and he is not. Um, Sadahara O is the home run king. And let's include Josh Gibson and take a look at how many home runs Josh, Josh Gibson hit when he was shut out of playing in the major leagues because of the color of his skin. So let, if, we're going to, if we're going to start digging down into the minutia, let's go into there. Let's get into the minutia. Hank Aaron is not the home run king. Barry Bonds is the home run king. Because guess what, guys? I, I got bad news for you. Having been around the game for as long as I have been around it, um, most of those guys cheated too. And I guarantee you, Hank Aaron cheated just like the rest of them because they had this thing called greenies. Greenies are speed. Speed was commonly used by Major League Baseball players. If you were tired and you took speed and it made you helped you leg out a single or get to a ball in center field a little bit faster, or maybe that home run that died at the fence went over the fence for Hank Aaron. That is cheating. You are every bit the cheater that anyone who took steroids was. Every bit. So until you can prove to me that no one did all the way back. No, he wasn't an average pirate. He was a great pirate. No, he was a great pirate. You guys are, you, Garrick, you, you aren't paying attention. You need to talk to somebody who knows the game. Barry Bonds is one of the greatest players ever. Top 10. All right, guys. Silver Pack, good luck. Good luck. You guys got to stop believing this foolishness about, oh, the steroids just happened. No, it didn't. Oh, look at that. Right out of the gate. What is that? What is that? It's black.
Nolan Ryan. Bryce Harper. Who's our black? Come on, be autographed. Andrew McCutcheon out of 199. That's nice. And David puts an exclamation point on the conversation. I, I think cheating is relative because it's gone on for so long in all sports that we're all of a sudden for us to make an issue out of it, um, to make an issue out of it is is ridiculous. Because greenies were have been around in baseball, they killed Elvis for a long time. Stephen Duggar. And people have used them forever. Cheating is cheating is cheating. Cheating is cheating is cheating. So let's go back and let's take a look at every single player and let's ask who took what and did what and how they did it, Roberto Alomar, and then we can have the conversation. Ooh, look at that one. Darn it. I was hoping we'd get there for you. I saw I saw that it was a white sock, but Come on, Ernie Banks. Elvis Presley, yeah, drugs killed him. And that's what he started taking. He started taking speed when he was in the military, which is ultimately what led to all his other problems. So yes, it was ultimately speed that killed Elvis. DJ Stewart. Oh, that would have been a nice autograph. We get a black in the first pack. McCutcheon. Oh, we got a green. Come on, be an autograph green. Jansen, Machado, and... Ooh, look at that. Man, this guy is a huge stud. Asked a deal out of 90. This, whoever has a twin spot. Yes, I'm kidding. But it's out of 99. And Derek is a good guy. He's a Twins fan, so... You didn't know that about Elvis? Yeah, that's what he took in the military. Started taking it to stay awake at night while he was, uh, um, stay awake at night to when he was on uh, patrol. That's what they would take. Rivera, Kershaw. Dang it. Eloy. Come on, autograph. Look at it. Here's my box. This is just for this one. So I just took the front 12 out. So you guys can decide on the next one. And they took greenies. Uh oh, look at that, guys. Or oh, it's an autograph. We got an autographed orange in here, guys. Autographed orange. Come on, big name. Come on, big boys. Come on, big boy. Come on. Ooh, look at that. Kikuchi for the Mariners out of 25. Kikuchi for the Mariners out of 25. Look at that bad boy. That's pretty. We're going to put that in the case. Yeah. He is top 10 all time. If you haven't been paying attention, Bob, you can come up with your list and go talk to people who know. And uh, then uh, then uh, come back and apologize to me. And let me know. Barry Bonds is a top ten player of all time. There are not you cannot you cannot come up with ten players that are that are better than Bonds for the history of the game. You cannot. Kikuchi out of twenty five. Kikuchi out of twenty five. That's a nice one. Congratulations, to the Mariners. Hey, I told. What did I tell Chris? What did I say to Chris? Now, Chris will tell you this. CL, what did I tell you yesterday? I should have kept the Mariner spot. I should have kept the Mariner spot, and I I said that. My wife said that yesterday. Should have kept the Mariner spot. Nope. Because they didn't sell until yesterday. Should have kept it. Here's another black. 
Velez, Cole Stewart, Josh James, and who is this? Bregman for the Astros out of 199. <laughs> I like the third person, Bob. <laughs> Bob is not an apologist. <laughs> Like I said on the Facebook group, Bob, you are all right with me. Really? Are you going to open a personal hobby there, sports trader? Expos are going to the Nationals, Jim. Or did you just come in my uh, feed and try to tell everyone about your break? Or try to get everyone to come over to your feed. Is that what we're trying to do? As long as you tell me no, we're okay. But it's still part of the uh it's still part of the uh it's still part of the break. Whether or not it's the silver, you got the mariners, right? There you go, see? And once again, here's here's David giving you all an education. Bregman. I'm just messing with you, sports. You're fine. I am just giving you grief. And good luck on your break tonight. I hope you get a good one. I hope it's a great break. Now, top ten all time. You come up with your list and you tell me. Arfer. Ah. The only one autograph out of the pack, out of out of the silver packs, but we did get uh, we did get uh, McCutcheon out of one ninety nine. We got Bregman out of one ninety nine. We got this massive hit out of ninety nine for Williams Astadio. Look at that massive hit, and then you have this little tiny thing for this unknown Kikuchi fellow. Out of 25. Out of 25. Alright, let's review. Let's review. See, here we go. Always some idiot coming in. Thank you, Bacon. Just block him. Why do they why did they do that? And and you know the thing is, here we go again. I'm just gonna go to his channel. See, and and you know, for all the crap that the, the firehand guys don't like to say, they these are brand new accounts. I do believe. Um I do believe that they set up these accounts. You know, because they're the only ones that jump in and do that. They're the only ones that jump in and do that. That kind of sucks. But it's okay. Share it on Facebook, Bob, so I have a chance to look at it and rebut. And tell you all the reasons why you're wrong and I'm right. Because as always, I am right, and all of you are wrong. Just ask me. Just ask me. I'll tell you how right I am. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm really good at... Uh, at uh, Poking the bear. And so that's what I'm gonna do all day with you guys. I just like uh I just like poking the bear. And you I and, and just for just for you guys to know that you are all the bear. So whatever you say, I'm just gonna Fisk, Albies, S P Eckersley, Frank Robinson, my favorite SP, Kyle Wright, Catfish Hunter, Robin Yount. 
Strasburg. Vlad one. Vlad two. Gianni Bench. Zach Wheeler. Oh, he's getting the wrong pile. Vlad three. Eddie Murray. Chris Sale. Quifo. Reese McGuire. And Vlad number four. Four Vlads. Let's see, what else do we want to show? We want to show, we want to show the, let's do the, what's this one, out of 150? Oh, Ryu, too, is uh, an SP. Let's show the, um, out of 99s, we've got Zach Wheeler for the Mets, the old logo. Fernando Tatis Jr., which is a good hit, and Stephen Wright, those are all out of 99. I don't know, we're just gonna show stuff, I don't care. Out of 67, we have the Pirates, the A's, Triggs, and the Rockies. Um, out of 150, we have a Mazeroski and Edwin Diaz. These are actually both numbered uh, 104 out of 150 and 124 out of 150. Yeah, I am instigating. It's just fun to instigate. Because I think you all know me well enough to know that I'm just having fun. Chris Archer, out of 76. Ponce Daly, or Leon, out of 50. Lynn, out of 50. Scherzer, bad, bad tops. One out of 10. Naughty, naughty tops. Two autographs, Knicks and Santana, so the Potteries and the Dodgers. Yep, you did, Ed. Ed, for the Astros, are you in this one? For the Astros, we have a Miles Straw Clear, 2 out of 10. If that's you, Ed, that's you, right? Are you this one? Or are you, uh... oh yeah, you are this one. So that's yours, Ed. Clear, 2 out of 10, Miles Straw. We got the trout, nineteen out of fifty. And then our big hit for the thing was Kikuchi out of orange out of twenty five, five out of twenty five for the Mariners. And this is for Jumbo. I mean for Hobby. So let's go over these. Rizzo out of 150. Bat card of Buxton. Game use of Gannett. Bat card of Blackman. Black bat card of Young. Game use Betts. Real Muto. Uh, I guess that's a bat card. And then Goldschmidt for the Cardinals out of 150. Out of 150. The break number case break number one is in the books. It is 134. We're just going to call the second case, the uh, jumbo case, two o'clock. And we have lots of things that we put in sleeve silver, I mean, gold, and so all this has been sleeved. There's a big pile of sleeve. Um, and these are a big pile of uh, other things out of 150 and all that other stuff. Plus several of these are all so perfectly sleeved out. Gucci out of 150. I don't know why. All right, guys. Bacon, we'll see you next time. Thanks for playing along. Makes the time go by, right? Makes the time go by. So we will come back here. It is 1.35. We will come back at 2 o'clock at the top of the hour, wherever you live. We will be back at the top of the hour. At the top of the hour. So it's either noon in California, 2 o'clock here in Missouri, or 3 o'clock on the East Coast, and 1 o'clock somewhere in the middle. Um, let's see. It was the Marlins, I think. Yeah, Marlins. And he's out of 99, actually. 
93 out of 99 used to be uh, Marlins. Oh, wait, let me, let me see it. And then I got Giants. Oh, let me show you the Giants. I got a Samarja out of uh, 76. I got uh, Juan Marichal out of uh, 150. 98 out of 150. And the SSP was uh, Melon. So there you go, boys and girls. Thank you very much, everyone who bought into this break. And we will be back. And so everyone start thinking about where you want me to pull the 12 silver from. We can do first 12. We can do this 12. We can do middle 12. We can do, and, and if we're going to open them up first or last. So you guys can think about that. Let me know. I will see you guys back here at the top of the hour, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and into the jumbo case. So I will see you guys shortly. I got to get some food in me. I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I can't do this without more food. Or some food. So we'll see you guys shortly. Thank you for all the great conversation. And we'll see you soon.